Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I hope you've been doing your exercises in consciousness and awareness and now learning that it's all about the balance um, and that sometimes we have not been alienated by choice but it's because of the external forces around us and now that you understand that there are so many ways that you can get in touch with you and understand who you are it's now time to start planning. Um, now, I've run projects for almost 20 years and done lots of business consultancy. And I've also, on a personal level, had some really crazy things happen to me. And I found that utilizing some very simple business techniques in your everyday life can really help you get it out of your head and onto some paper so you can really start to understand what direction you can take your ship into next. Um, now this time I actually prepared a business plan. Um, now I'm going to start here in the corner. I normally do one for each page because you need to just get it out. Um, and the more conscious and aware you are of these things, um, it's actually easier for you then to move forward. Um, and see what direction or opportunities you have. So I always look and sit in my harbour, take a look, and I go onto each ship, and I do what we call a SWOT analysis, and that is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Now, a lot of the time, because we're so on autopilot and go, 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 we don't realise how strong we are. We don't realise that there might be a hole in our ship somewhere. We might not realize there's an opportunity just on the other side of the fence or that there's a massive threat coming our way. Um, so it's about looking at your ships and then how you can start to take ownership. Um, I like to kiss everything to keep it short and simple. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. You don't want to be like, ah, but uh, uh, no, this is the strength. This is the weakness. Just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, you can start to what I like to call the management technique of build, break and build. So we're so hard on ourselves and society is so hard on us and our families are so everything can feel very hard. And that's not because of you, it's because of the pressure that's put on top of you. So you need to just sit back for a second and build yourself up and go like, okay, I, I tried really, really hard. You know, I know I could have done better. Um, but you know, I, I did, I tried. And then you look at breaking yourself. I knew I was a bit lazy there. I knew this. And da, 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 da. So you can start to break it down and see where you may need to be better. And then you build yourself back up. So if I do this, 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 and this, and this, I should then be on track to deliver. Great. You know, and then you've got a technique for yourself. It's about self-management because a lot of the time we're so busy asking everybody else because then if I don't make the decision, it's somebody else's fault and I can blame somebody else. It's about taking ownership and understanding whether you want to be a self-sustaining individual, you know, with a successful way to move forward or whether you're actually going to sit on someone else's sinking ship or be cargo that they might need to throw overboard at some point because you're not pulling your weight and it's about understanding how we as the alien nation can come together and really get the party started but we all individually have something to bring to the table and unless you know what that is it's very hard to then get involved so once I've done all of that I look at what I call a brainstorm. Now, all this politically correct nonsense, not my problem. Again, alienation, putting us into boxes, pigeonholing us. It's a brainstorm. Um, and I break it into three sections. So I always do a personal, a professional, and then a social come by one. Because we all need to take on social responsibility. It is our responsibility. And we can't keep expecting that the powers that be are going to do that for us so you know once you've then individualized things you can 
work from it whereas if it's all in one go you're just like overwhelmed and they say you can't eat an elephant in one go you'll get indigestion um so chopping it all up into small little pieces and then setting yourself goals now they don't have to be massive goals it doesn't have to be like oh my god a goal it can be again keep them short and simple if you set your bar here and you get here you're gonna feel really good but you're still here if you set your bar high and you only get to here then you're a lot higher than you started and if someone is trying to push your bar down you keep your bar high because it's about you you're an individual they're an individual you do things that feel right otherwise what ends up happening is you end up sinking really where you want to go in order for us to start working collaboratively and start having self-sustaining communities we all individually need to know what our strengths our weaknesses and our opportunities and threats are so we can then move forward in terms of looking at our social budgets I want to ask you guys a question why is it to be socially conscious you have to pay more money we can become self-sustainable if we start looking at where our money is being spent and then how we can start to cut the cost so the pressure isn't then placed in so many areas i can tell you the biggest problem for most people is financial or relationships and that's because we're not spending our money correctly and you know i.e if i want something biodegradable compostable recyclable i'm paying more money for that where it should be more expensive to purchase products that aren't because that's what's costing in landfill and that's what's costing so as the alien nation we can start to look at our overall budgets or small but smaller budgets and then our overall budgets and how we can come together and start breaking things down into a more realistic and cost-effective way to, to self-sustain as individual communities and then a global community um, and then I think from that perspective, um, it is just very important to start mapping things out. Um, this is just so you can become more conscious and aware of what things that you could do. At the minute, we're all stuck in, um, in a bit of a, a tight spot where some people can excel and some people's services are not going to go so well so it's about how we come together and really get the party started and it can be fun it doesn't business doesn't have to be scary it, it's not about um i've made x amount of money you don't need to be rich it's about being enriched and that comes from knowing what resources you have at your fingertips I can guarantee you 90% um, of my flat has been skip rated and I have recreated things. Rubbish doesn't need to look like rubbish. With a bit of imagination, i.e. let's not pay for someone else to think for us, but let's actually start looking at ourselves as self-sustaining businesses and then how we can have the right goals moving forward. Um, I hope this helps. Please like, share, pass it on. Um, it really is important that we individually become stronger because we are the army and if you, you haven't got the skills, then we're not going to succeed. We're just going to turn into prisoners of, oh, sorry, remain prisoners of society because we're there. And if we really want to get out of this prison cell, it's time for us to look at how we're going to use all those good practice guides and put them together and really make sure that human evolution happens so thank you very much um, and yeah please let me know if I can cover anything